Okay guys, this is um, my Trax 450 Sport and um, as you can see I mounted the uh, GoPro casing on front of the heli. I just basically go through what I've done in here. Um, okay, show you on the bottom. This is the uh, micro heli uh, metal bottom plate. Before it arrived, I've got this normal plastic case, well, the bottom plate. And um, what I did was I made a little hole in there with Dremel. So I made a hole in there. And um, I put this screw, uh, by the way, this, this is the, um, the, the piece, the mounting piece from the uh, a separate GoPro, uh, I think it's called a bar uh, mounting for GoPro or something, you can, you can grab it from eBay. And I got, got it from there and then slide in and screw it like this and just mount it in like this. And uh, because this slit in here is um, it's actually narrower than the, the thickness in here, so um, what I need to do is I grind it over here so it could slide in. So you slide in there and then put the screw in and that's basically what I did. And I've just received, I've, used, I've been using this, but Today I just received my order, this metal plate. So I did exactly the same thing. So I screwed it down and um, it's really secure now. It's, it doesn't really move or you know wobble or anything like that. It's, it's, it's rock solid, okay? And uh, I think this, this piece is from the mounting um, GoPro Helmet Hero. So I got this piece from there, and that piece is from the bar mounting system. And uh, the reason I got this is because, as you see, this is all the vertical mounting. And that one converts this vertical to horizontal mounting, otherwise it would be like, you know, on the side. You don't want that, so that's what I did. Okay. And uh, to reduce the, uh, the vibration, I put this uh, double side foam tape inside there's, there's one there on the side there's two there there's another one on the top and there's one on the front and this is a, a piece of zeal tape okay and I put in there and I put the GoPro cam inside and close it like that I can't show you because I'm using the cam for this tutorial but uh, anyway, you got you got the point. Right. So because the cam is in there, normal battery mount, you can't you can't mount a battery in there. So what I did, this is just I put another landing gear. You will see why in a second. Right. So just put the uh, battery like this, and uh, obviously you can slide it up and down for the uh, center of gravity. Uh, from my experience this is about right okay so this velcro tie just tie it securely like that okay and this is quite secure it doesn't really give you much vibration actually you can, you can make it more secure if you just depends how strong you are but anyway like that and uh, you know, it doesn't really affect the vibration, it just stays there. And if you wish, you can use this uh, big massive battery, 4800-45C. And because you can slide up and down for the center of gravity, you can actually mount this. And I tried it, it doesn't really work. And uh, it is fairly good because you don't do anything well, I don't do anything crazy for 3D or anything like that with the GoPro mounted. Normally, if you mount it on the 
top on the battery mount it obviously is heavy so it's going to go down like this but because it's on the bottom you can you can actually use this okay um the next thing i uh well i actually when when you're not using the the video you could actually unscrew it over here like this out like that and uh, take it out yeah and then you just put it like that it's another uh, velcro type so you can just fly in you you know normal way usual way like this so it's got flexibility right and that one is the uh, KDS fly mentor uh, for stabilization and this is the uh, fly mentor gyro I you know mounted it there with a piece of zero tape and I put the um, zip tie there to make sure it doesn't really give you a, you know wobble and uh, give you vibration for the gyro and that's the um, spirit lever so before I plug the battery in make sure it's on the spot so it initialized properly it depends when you know when you give you when, when you plug the battery that's when the, uh, the fly mentor initialize so you make sure it's on the spot um, that is my receiver and the satellite for the receiver I mounted another gyro which is uh, GP7 780 um, so I'm using two gyro, one for the stabilization and that one is for the tail. Um, I think that's pretty much everything I need to uh, tell you. Um, right, um, I've uploaded some uh, video with this old plastic bottom plate version, GoPro mounted and um, it had a bit of a uh, jello effect to what people say but um, it's not too bad but today I did a test of light with uh, this new metal plate version and I couldn't see any jello effect in fact it was uh, I think is as close as clear uh, as clear as it, you could get on 450 model so uh, I'm going to do some test flight and upload on my uh, channel so um, you know just keep your posted and uh, thanks for watching.